struggling to survive. They're on the teetering of disaster until it's all wiped out. You call your council people, even all your reporters, and if you know any council person not signed on, or all these other great leaders, you got to ask them why not. Thank you. Now we have a representative of the Bronx, which probably has more small businesses than any other borough, running for city council. Ms. Tapia, please. Yes, I'm from the Bronx and it's true. 80% of the of the, 85 of the businesses that are in the Bronx are small businesses. What is your and name? Judel Katapia. And I'm running for city council in the district 14. And it is a shame that this bill has to be passed. I mean, we've been struggling with this bill for the last year and a half, uh, doing, uh, doing all these forums and all this discussion about it, and expecting from the city council members to pass the bill and it hasn't been passed. We need three more votes, I guess. I think we have it. We have it. We have it. We have all the votes. So we need a twisting queen to act and bring it to the table. Because, I mean, the small businesses are the heart and the backbone of the city. And it's not only affecting the small businesses, because remember, these small business owners has families that have to put the bread at the table. And that is affecting the whole community. Because every time a small business closes, what happened is that the whole family suffer and the whole neighborhood in our communities are suffering because of that. So I urge, I urge all the city council members that hasn't come up for this bill to come out because I mean otherwise the voters in their district and the whole city and the whole city of New York are gonna take account of that this coming September 15th. And they're gonna vote against those ones that hasn't hasn't voted for this bill. So the time is now for them to act. 